praise the Lord, say. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, say. Praise the Lord. The family of Mother Garrett wishes to acknowledge with deep appreciation the many expressions of love, concern, and kindness shown. We, the family, would also like to thank you for the flowers, cards, telephone calls, visits, words of encouragement, and prayers are deeply appreciated. Please continue to pray our strength and may God bless everyone. A tribute. There is a land. There is a land far, far away. There is a land where there are no storm cloudy days. There is a land. Yes. This land is where Mother Garrett knew of long, long ago. Man. Mother Garrett learned from long as a schoolgirl about the love of Jesus. The love of Jesus that she showed each and every one of you. She opened her doors to anyone that yes. came through them. Yes. Mother Garrett said the hungry. Yes. Mother Garrett believed in the word of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Mother Garrett knew that there was a land. The land where the wicked shall cease from trouble. The land where the weary shall be at rest. Mother Garrett served each and every one of her neighbors, friends, enemies, whatever. It didn't matter to her. She met you with a smile and outstretched hands. Mother Garrett was a loving, kind person. Amen. And it showed here today. Right. Because Mother Garrett is still represented here today. With love. The love she shared is the love that you are here today with. On the outstretched wings of the Lord, Mother Garrett winged herself home to a home that she had been preparing for many years ago. She knew. She had conviction. She had no worries, no nothing, that her Savior would welcome her home. Mother Garrett was a mother of mothers. And we today say, God has spoken. God has spoken. So let the church say, Amen. 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 That's beautiful. It is with deep sympathy and tenderness of heart that we, the officers and members of Holy Rock Church Royal Family, send you, Sister Diana Washington, these words expressed to you in a feeble way. Our sincere sympathy for you in the death of your beloved grandmother, Arnetta Garrett. Whereas the passing of your grandmother, Arnetta Garrett, is the will of God, and yet, there is a human tie that has been broken, that bleeds the heart in agony and pain. You must find comfort and consolation in the words of the Apostle Peter, who said, cast your burdens on him because he cares for you. First Peter 5 and 7, lift up your head and be strong, knowing you did what you could for her comfort, ease, and peace until the end. God saw and he knew. Therefore, we commend you to him, who is able to comfort and cheer, and will dry your tears and heal your broken heart, if you will put your unwavering faith in him. Be it resolved, the Holy Rock Church family is praying for you. You must also pray, for time and prayer will bring you relief. May God your hope and look to the hills from which cometh your help. May God bless and give you strength and courage. May it further resolve that the Holy Rock Church family share every sorrow of the bereaved family and again extend to you our deepest heartfelt sympathy. Resolve that a copy of this resolution will be given to the family of Arnetta Garrett and a copy placed in the files in the archives of Holy Rock Church and Outreach Ministry. Humbly submitted the Holy Rock Royal Family. 
Amen. 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 You did no one a last farewell. You said goodbye to none. Your loving heart has ceased to be. Your work on earth is done. The flowers we place upon your grave may wither and decay. But our love for you who sleep in Christ will never fade away. Whereas the Almighty God in his own infinite wisdom has sent, seen fit to enter our church family and take our oldest beloved mother, our Netta Garrett. We, the Mother's Board, bow our heads in humble submission to a wise God who knows and does all things well. With love and high esteem, we offer the following resolution. We, the members of the Mother Board, extend our sincere sympathy to the family of our beloved Mother Garrett. May you find comfort in each loving memory and peace through your faith in the only wise and almighty God. We also resolve to carry on the work of the Mother Board which she faithfully served until her death fell, death fell which led her to eternal home for it. Second Timothy 4, 17, I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. No matter how difficult the fight seemed, she kept fighting. One thing she knew being with Jesus Christ, the fight she fought was worth it all. We resolve that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy be placed in the church record. Respectfully submitted on the 9th day of July 2016, Mother's Lord, Mother Sherry R. Stephanie President, Anthony R. Race. Every race, every second pastor. Amen. 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 Resolution for the true love mission of about this church. Since it has pleased for Almighty God to take our beloved mother on to his reward, where she will join that great cloud of witnesses in heaven. We, the members of the true love mission of about this church, want the family to know that our hearts are with you as we gather to bid a Christian farewell to our woman of faith, Mother Arnetta Gary. The mother of our founding First Lady, Sister Joseph Williams, and the entire family. Whereas Mother Garrett professed a hope in Christ at an early age, she was an active member of our church until her health failed her. She was a reverend woman. She loved the Lord, a very loyal and faithful person who served her family. She loved her family with a gentle yet stern combination which only she possessed. Not only is this a loss of a devoted mother, but a grandmother of many generations and a friend to so many. A person who was always available to share and encourage an encouraging word and demonstrate strong support to those in need. Whereas the passing of our beloved Mother Garrett in Christ is the will of God and there is a human tie that has been broken which bleeds the heart in agony and pain. We are encouraged and consoled in the words of Jesus who said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the family because all of us have a common bond that we will connect up for the rest of our lives. We cannot replace Mother Garrett, but we'll attempt to demonstrate her love for you. Be it further resolved that a period of official mourning will be observed for 30 days by the setting aside of a special seat to acknowledge the passing of our precious mother, our Netta Garrett. To the family of Mother Garrett, we know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great. But we want you to know that we share in your sorrow. But more importantly, we recognize that this loss is heaven's gain. 
When it's all over, we would like you to remember. In case there's a time when you just need some cheer, in case there's a problem you would like to, for us to hear, in case there's a favor you would like us to do, we're here if you need us to help see you through. Humbly submitted on the ninth day of July 2016, New True Love Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Anthony R. Stephanie, the second pastor. Amen. 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 We thank you for all the resolutions. Amen. And the tribute. We've been having remarks uh, from the two pastors up here to represent the preachers. Amen. We have Amen. Pastor Davis here from the House of Prayer, League. And then we know the preaching machine is in the house. Pastor Keith Burgess. Let's say amen. 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 Let's say amen again. Amen. Let's say it again. Amen. Amen. Oh, we are so grateful to the Lord for yes. having this opportunity to stand here again to see a well working and the vineyard of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Have back pain to get her reward. And to all of the fellow yokemen in Christ Jesus and the Russian and to the family. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the family. Amen. Amen. And many of them that I knew, amen, that was very young, but my mind go back to 49th and Princeton. Amen. <laughs> Where it started. Amen. I can hear Alexander's voice saying, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Come on, Rev. We are so grateful Come on, to be here yes. to say to this family, let's keep holding on. Amen. Yeah. Come on, Rev. To God's unchanging hand. Amen. That's right. So he said unto the Father one day he prayed yeah. a prayer. Yeah. And said, Father, although you have given me, mm -hmm. I have given them eternal life. Yeah. And no man can pluck them out of my hand. Yeah. I heard the song of the choir. Thank God for the choir. Let's give them another hand. Yeah. Always been a singing of the choir. Real always have way of saying. <laughs> Amen. And we'll do so. Told me I was asked to represent all of the pastors. Amen. I'm Pastor Harold Davis of the House of Prayer, 5159 South Halston. I've been knowing this family for many, many, many years. Amen. And I want to say to this family, Amen. And thank God for you that had care of mother even in the time when she couldn't carry her own. I have came to some of the service and I seen mother setting up there. That was a blessing. Amen. The Bible said work while it's day. Yes. But when night comes, no man can work. Amen. I want to let you know, family, and encourage you with these words coming from the book of Thessalonians. Amen. Amen. It said, The Lord himself shall descend from heaven mm -hmm. with a shout, yes. with a voice of an archangel. Yes, Lord. Hey, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes. And we that are remaining. Yes. Shall catch up with them in the end. Yes. And, and that's where we shall ever be with the Lord. Yes, yes. Then I heard it said, in, uh, when John was in the Isle of Patty, heaven was opened up and the voice came to him. And he said in the 21st chapter, and around the 4th verse, said, God shall wipe away yes. all the tears. Yes, yes. That cannot be no more. Yes, yes. There's no more sap. 